Hello Techies! In our previous tutorial, we have learnt how to retrieve all the tags which are available for a particular team by using an action called list all tags for a team action. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn how to retrieve the members which are available for a particular tag by using an action called list the members for a tag action. Before that, let me show you a small scenario. Let me switch to Microsoft Teams and then I'm going for Teams. Inside my Teams, I'm having three teams such as Conteso, Onboarding and Build Team, right? Now, to manage the tags, I'm going for the particular team and then I'm going to click on Manage Tags. Now, if you observe over here, for the Conteso, I'm having tags. There are two tags are available under other tags, right? One is Developer, another one is Manager. Now, if you closely observe, under the developer, I'm having three members. Under the manager, I'm having only one member. In our previous tutorial, we have retrieved only the tags which are available for the particular team. Now, in this session, we are going to retrieve the members which are available for the particular tag. How we are going to retrieve it? By using list members for a tag action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. The main purpose of this action is to retrieve the list of members for a particular tag. All right. So there you can see I'm having two parameters. First parameter is the team. As we have seen, we are going to retrieve the teams which are available in Microsoft Teams. How can we go ahead and do that? By clicking on drop down. There you can see I will get all the teams which are available in Microsoft Teams, such as build team, Conteso and onboarding. Now, I'm going to select Conteso. Inside the Conteso team, I'm having two tags again, right? One is developer, another one is manager. So how can we go ahead and select it? I'm going to drop down this tag ID. There you can see I'm having developer and manager, right? Now I'm going to select the developer to retrieve the members for the particular tag that is developer. Now the output will be stored inside my variable that is get tag members response. All right, this will be this variable will store all the list of members for the particular tag. Let me go ahead. Let me click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. There you can see at the first step, it is trying to extract all the tags from the team by using list all tags for a team action. And then as a second action, you can see it is trying to extract all the members for the tag which we have given as contest over there and the output has been stored inside our variables first one is that get a tags response another one get a tags members response all right now as part of this we are going to check the output the members of the particular tag right let me double click on the get tag members response to see the output now if you see at the response of the particular tag we are having three members inside my developer, right? There you can see I'm having O data count as three. And if you want to see the values, what are the members that we have inside the tags, then we are going to click on more. And there you can see I'm having three members which has been stored in the index zero, one, two, and so on. Right now we are having three members so that it will come zero, one, two. Let me click on more. There you can see in the index zero, I'm having an ID of the member and the display name is Isha Anger, and the tenant ID you can see over here and the user ID. Whenever we are going to add a member, in that case, we have used this user ID, right? Now in the same way, if you go for index one, I'm having display name as Patti Fernandez and the respective user ID and the ID, right? Let me go back to the value two, that is index two. There you can see Megan Bowen that I'm having with ID and the user ID is so and so. Right. Let me click on close. Now, if you observe the values which you have provided is statically we have provided, right? If you double click on the list, the members for a tag action there, you can see I have provided the tag idea as statically, right? So I want to provide this dynamically. How can I go ahead and do that? For the tags related, we are having the an action called list all tags for a team. Now we are going to get all the tags over here into the output variable that is get tags response. From there, I will pass the 
tags inside my list members for a tag, right? So for that, I'm going to use for each action. Whenever we are having list of values, in that case, we are going to use for each loop. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Now, this for each action iterates over the list items, right? Now, the first parameter is the value to iterate. What is the value that we have to iterate? There you can say I'm going to get all the tags in the variable that is gets tags response. I'm going to select that variable. There you can say I'm going to drill down this get tags response. Inside that I'm having the values. I'm going to select that value over here. Let me select that. So that what will happen, this for each action will iterate through the values which we are having in the get tags response dot value. And the output will be stored inside my variable that is stored in, that is, I'm going to give it as current tag. And then I'm going to click on save. And now I'm going to drag this list the members for a tag action inside my for each. And then let me go ahead, let me double click on the list the members for a tag action to provide the tag ID. So now the tag ID I'm going to provide dynamically from which variable that is current tag flow variable, right? I'm going to select the variable over here and then I'm going for the current tag. And there you can see I'm having ID over here. Let me select the ID and then I'm going to click on select, all right? And you can see over here previously we're going to give the tag ID from the drop down, but right now I'm going to give it dynamically by using the list all tags for a team action and then I'm going through the loop and what are the output that we are going to get it at the current ID, I'm going to give it over here at the tag ID. All right, let me click on save. Now, to show the count of the list of members for each and every tag, I'm going to use display message action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Now, I'm going to give the properties of the display message, that is message box title as tag members count. And then what is the message to display? What are the output that we are going to get it from the get tag members response? I'm going to select the count over there. I'm going to select the variable and then I'm going for the get tag members response. And then you can see the value over here. I'm having the count over here. Let me select that. And then I'm going to click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. If you see right now, it is going through the for each action. It is trying to get the count of the members which are there in the particular tag. Now you can see there are having three members over here in the developer, right? Let me click on OK. Now it will go for the second tag that is manager. In my manager, I'm having only one member, right? The display message will have the count is one over here. All right, let me click on OK. The flow has executed successfully. Now, if you observe, I have given the count of the members in the particular tag, right? If I want to know the names of the members in the particular tag, then what we have to do again, we have to use the loop and then we have to go through the get tag members of the value and then we have to get the display name over there. All right. I hope you understand how to get the list of members from a particular tag by using an action called list the members for a tag action as part of this tutorial.